Hey guys, Dad Knows here. Hey, I got something today that I think a lot of us can relate to, and that is a slow draining shower. It's about the most annoying thing to get up in the morning and go take your shower, and the next thing you look down, you got an inch or two of water you're standing in, and it just creates a, a nasty hazard. Uh, it could flood if you're not careful, and it just just annoying. So I'm gonna show you today how you might be able to fix it, all right? Take a look. So here's our shower. So what we're gonna do is first, just take these screws out that hold this uh, little grate in place. Just a Phillips screwdriver, a couple of turns, it comes right out. And then we're just gonna remove that, put that aside. Make sure we take these screws. See these screws? Don't lay them right here. Cause guess what? They could go down there. Take these, put them outside your shower, somewhere safe where they won't get uh, knocked into the drain. So now, now if you're squeamish, you may want to look away. But here, take a look down inside. Can you see that nastiness? Oh, the gross, huh? Look at that, hair and just soap scum and even some mineral deposits probably as it builds up. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a long, blunt screwdriver. So see, this is really long, but it has a bit of a, a blunt end. It's not a real sharp. And we're gonna just, we're gonna gently begin to start removing this, this nasty material here, right? We're gonna do that, we're gonna work our way around, but we're not gonna jam it down in there hard. We're not gonna start, you know, gouging at it. We're gonna be really gentle because we don't wanna damage the plumbing. Really important that you don't just start, because there's a P-trap down there. There's a little loop of a pipe and you don't wanna bust out the bottom of that loop of that pipe because now you're gonna have some real big problems and we don't want that. So always think gentle. And then we're not gonna just push all that material down the drain because then that's gonna create a, a, a stop uh, in the drain or a, 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 a clog in the drain much further down into the pipe. So we don't want that either. So we're going to introduce our friendly vacuum cleaner friend. So this we're going to use to suck that material out as we scrape it out. So let's get started with that.
can see down in the hole now. So here's what we've done. We've taken our large, long, blunt uh, screwdrivers, not real sharp, and we've uh, used it to just kind of scrape the sides of the, of the pipe uh, down to the P-trap. And we have used a small shop vac to uh, remove all the material as we scrape it. And uh, now, look, we've got a clean drain. You can see the water in the P-trap, that's good. Uh, we used a little extra time to take uh, and scrape away some of the lime and calcium, you know, so those just hard water deposits that uh, uh, begin to build up on the inside of the pipes. And that kind of is what holds on to the hair and the soap scum and all the other crud that gets in there and begins to clog the drain up. So if you can, if you can remove that, uh, it'll just make your unclogging job last a lot longer. And uh, the hair and soap scum and all that crud will just uh, just flush away for a while. And then it'll all build back up. So you'll just have to keep doing this. I did this about a year or so ago in our drain. Um, it's just my wife and I using this shower, but it's just enough, the two of us, uh, to clog it up. So uh, good luck. Hope this helps. Like and subscribe if this was helpful. Appreciate it, guys. Take care.